Are you a researcher or data scientist slash analyst slash ninja? Do you want to learn Bayesian inference, stay up to date, or simply want to understand what Bayesian inference is? Well, I'm just like you. When I started learning Bayesian methods, I really wished there were a podcast out there that could introduce me to the methods, the project, and the people who make all that possible. So I created Learning Bayesian Statistics, a fortnightly podcast where I interview researchers and practitioners of all fields about why and how they use Bayesian statistics and how in turn you as a learner can apply these methods in your modeling workflow. Now the thing is, I'm not a beginner, but I'm not an expert either. The people I interview will definitely be. So I'll be learning alongside you. I won't pretend to know everything in this podcast, and I will make mistakes. But thanks to the guest's feedback, we'll be able to learn from those mistakes. And I think this will help you and me become better, faster, stronger Bayesians. So whether you want to learn Bayesian statistics or hear about the latest libraries, books, and applications, this podcast is for you. In this very first episode, well, Actually, it's episode zero because zero indexing rules. I will introduce you to the genesis of this podcast, tell you why you should listen, and reveal some of the guests for the coming episodes. This is Learning Bayesian Statistics, episode zero, recorded September 12, 2019. <laughs> Welcome to Learning Bayesian Statistics, a fortnightly podcast on Bayesian inference, the methods, the projects, and the people who make it possible. So, what's this podcast gonna be like? How will it help you solve your problems? Well, I try to make it uh, as practical and useful to you as possible. That's why I like uh, this podcast to be both conceptual and practical. Conceptual because we will pick a topic every two weeks and explain it in depth with the guest. And practical because doing that, uh, we will discuss what's going on, new libraries, new books, interesting applications out there in the wild. But I don't want to just cover the stuff that's in all the papers, you know, I want to give you what you need to know on top of that to make things actually work. The black art, <laughs> if you will. So what topics does that leave us with uh, concretely? A lot, actually. I try to maintain a certain progression in the themes, but of course, that depends on the guest availability. We'll have conceptual episodes. What's Bayesian inference? What is it good for? When would you not use it? In the end, how do you learn to think and analyze problems in a Bayesian way? Also, when you say Bayes, you hear prior, so how do you choose those priors? That will bring us to the notion of information entropy, so what is it, and how does it help us choose priors? Naturally, we'll also have statistical episodes, we're all waiting for them, at least I am, <laughs> where we will see use cases for linear models, interactions, count and classification models, mature models, and yeah, my favorite, multi-level models. These models, I like them, they can be challenging to code, but uh, then you get a lot for free. In particular, I love these models because they pull information to estimate cluster variation in your data. And as such, they handle unbalanced datasets very naturally. You may also have encountered them under the names hierarchical models or varying effects models or random effects models. It's like the Avengers, you know, there are a lot of them, but they are very, very powerful. I'm sure we will have a lot of examples in this podcast. All right, another galaxy of topics I'll tackle can be called robust model workflow, which is how do you specify your model and also once it's sampled, how do you check it converged correctly? How do you even check your models in general? Which raises the trade-off between underfitting and overfitting? Well, in the Bayesian framework, there are a set of priors known as regularizing priors, which help you both navigate this trade-off and get better sampling. <laughs> so that's a, that's a nice thing to know and to practice. And often you need them more than one model actually to do inference on the same problem. It's like M&Ms, you know, uh, one is never enough. Okay, but then how do you decide between models? Well, you compare them. And here we'll talk about deviance, divergence, information criteria, and a bunch of friendly acronyms like AIC, DIC, WAIC, etc. 
Another big and interesting topic we'll learn about is sampling and Markov chain Monte Carlo, if only because these methods greatly helped the adoption of Bayesian inference. You may already be familiar with algorithms like uh, Metropolis, uh, Hamiltonian Monte Carlo, the no U turn sampler, but one day your model won't sample. Then uh, having a conceptual understanding of these algorithms should help you. All right, two more families of topics we'll learn before moving on. First, there are more advanced types of models like special models, time series models, uh, models that take into account the covariance between variables. These models love matrices. You also have the famous Gaussian processes. These models can handle continuous categories like age or distance. Another nice thing uh, with Bayes is how you handle missing data and measurement error. If you work with data, you know. The these are very, very common problems, and it turns out the Bayesian framework can take them into account quite easily. So we'll take a look at that too in future episodes. And finally, last but not least, we'll talk about visualization of your Bayesian models. How do you communicate your results? How do you convey what the model learned? And most importantly, what the model is the most uncertain about? Which communication is best suited for which audience? So lots of interesting questions here. So that's it for the topics, but who will be there to enlighten us? As I could in Python, the first guests uh, will probably come from this community, to be honest, in particular from the PyMC community, which is a fantastic package to do probabilistic programming in Python. Seriously, go check it out. The link is in the show notes. But in general, it would be very interesting to talk to anyone doing Bayesian stuff in the R or STAN communities. So if you are one of those, or if you have a guest to suggest, please contact me at learnbayesstats.envol.app. The link is in the show notes. So. And now for the scoop, several PyMC core developers already graciously agreed to appear on the podcast. I'm really, really happy about that. A big thank you to Colin Carroll, Chris Fonsbeck, Yun Peng Lao, Eric Ma, Osvaldo Martin, Austin Rochford, and John Setter. All of them are doing an amazing work and will be fantastic guests to talk about Bayesian modeling, probabilistic machine learning, natural language processing, data view visualization, uh, simulating molecular systems, using data sense for marketing, modeling risk in industry, etc, etc. Beyond their projects, we're also going to talk about how they came to use Bayesian inference, how these methods are considered in their respective fields, in contrast to frequentist statistics, and which challenges they encountered. Honestly, I don't think you'll want to miss these episodes, so go and subscribe to the show at learnbasestats.anvil.app. Before closing up, uh, just some prior information about me. Yeah, just a note, I intend to fill these episodes with really bad puns. So some prior information about me, because you must be wondering who is the guy talking into your earbuds for quite some time now. My name is Alexandre Andorin, I live in Paris, I work as a data scientist, and I'm an elections forecasting enthusiast. That's actually how I encountered the magic of Bayesian methods two years ago. As I said in the introduction, although I'm no longer a beginner, I'm still learning a lot about the Bayesian framework. That's actually why I'm creating this podcast, to continue learning and offer you a resource I didn't have when I I began my Bayesian journey. So I put myself on the spot at every episode. I will make mistakes, hopefully not at every episode. And maybe it will prevent you from doing the same mistakes, but for sure it will help you and me learn better and add base faster to your modeling and thinking toolbox. Okay, now the icing on the cake. I will ask every guest the same two questions at the end of the show. I will answer them myself right now. But as learning Bayesians, I'm sure you'll agree that the interest doesn't lie in any particular answer, but in the distribution of answers. And actually, if you want to answer this question, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Alex underscore Endora, like the country. I would be curious to, to have your uh, answers to these questions. So the first question is, if you had unlimited time and resources, which problem would you try to solve? 
I think I'd say figuring out how to teach critical thinking from primary school, as I assume it would have enormous consequences, positive, I hope, not only on the sciences, but on politics, economics, and the well-being of society in general. Now, the second question, it's if you could have dinner with any great scientific mind, dead, alive, or fictional, who would it be? So that's tough, of course. Uh, I think my answer is quite linked to the answer I gave to the first question, because here I would say Nicolas de Condorcet. Well, more precisely, Marie-Jean-Antoine Nicolas de Carita Marquis de Condorcet. First, because uh, he was an exceptional mathematician who helped create uh, today's statistics and probabilities, but he also had a concrete impact by applying mathematics to solve social and political issues when entering politics during the French Revolution. Of course, uh, there is his analysis of uh, voting systems and the, the Condorcet paradox, but he also defended the rights of minorities like blacks, Jews, and women, and opposed the death penalty. On many aspects, he was well ahead of his time. And finally, he knew other uh, scientists like Borda, Laplace, Lagrange, so I would definitely convince him to have a drink with them uh, after dinner. Okay, thank you very much for listening until the very end. I hope you enjoyed this preview and that I got you as excited as I am for the coming episodes and the journey this podcast is embarking on. This has been another episode of Learning Bayesian Statistics. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show on your favorite podcatcher and visit learnbayesstats.anvil.app for more resources based on today's topics, as well as access to more episodes that will help you reach true Bayesian state of mind. That's learnbayesstats.anvil.app. I'm your host, Alex Andorra. You can follow me on Twitter at Alex underscore Andorra, like the country. Thanks so much for listening, and in all likelihood, I'll see you in the next episode.